Hey guys, I decided I'd um, get to the bottom of the issue with my Mazda MX-5 Roadster on a Mini Z chassis. The problem was it has negative one offset rear wheel tyres that were scraping along on the gear mechanism at the back. So I tried to find what was causing it and I didn't want to sand it down. I just thought, no, nope, negative one's not good when it rubs against the pinion and the spur potentially. So it caused it to drive erratically at times when it got jammed on there. So off, off I went. And what I did is I decided to, I wanted to have a Mazda RX-7 as a drivable car. So this body is usually sold as an all wheel drive to be a drift car. But what I did is I put zero offset rear wide tires on it, just so it'll clear the the spur and pinion and I went with the the same as the MX-5's front one and a half millimeter narrow offsets so I think the Mazda is a beautiful looking car especially with that big wing on the back so I've also installed lights in this car and um, I'm going to give it a run on the track to see how it goes thinking hmm how's it going to go with those wide tyres let's see if it has too much grip and understeers and whether I think I need to actually put narrow tyres on the rear. So we'll give it a shot and you'll see the lights in action and then I'll compare it against various other cars just to get a feel for how it goes but I should warn you that um, I'm not really good at switching cars and being able to instantly drive them well. It takes me a bit of time to adjust to the differences in them but you'll see anyway. Okay here we go.